Good day, everyone. I'm back for the third episode of our series, Statistical Test. This is your teacher, Teddy, your moderator for this day. So before we start for our video tutorial, let's first have our objectives. At the end of this video tutorial, you are expected to identify appropriate statistical test in answering a research question regarding the significant difference between three or more groups. Second, accurately employ the steps in hypothesis testing. Skillfully navigate the SPSS software regarding significant difference between three or more groups. Improvise APA format table in summarizing the results of the course. Comprehensively interpret and analyze the result into sentence form. Now let's start. Let, let's have the contextual research problem, specifically research question number two. We already answered when the group is categorized according to sex a while ago using t-test for independent sampling. So now let's have to test if there's a significant difference to the degree of interest in mathematics of WebSU ILS students when categorized according to socioeconomic status and year level. As you can see, there are three groups in socioeconomic status, which are poor, middle class, and rich. And for the year level, we have four groups, first year, second year, third year, and fourth year. So what do you think is the statistical test that needs to be done if you need to find a, if there is a significant difference for three or more groups? So I have an answer for that. That's one-way ANOVA or one-way analysis of variance. So what is one-way ANOVA? So one-way ANOVA is actually used to determine whether there are any statistically significant difference between two or more independent groups, but preferably it should be used for three or more independent groups. So what are the requirements before we test one-way ANOVA or before we can do one-way ANOVA? So first assumption, you should have one dependent variable at continuous level, which is the degree of interest in mathematics. For assumption number two, you should have one dependent variable that consists of three or more categorical data. So socioeconomic status has three categorical independent groups. And of course, our year level has four categorical independent groups a while ago that I have discussed, the first year, second year, third year, and fourth year. So our assumption number three, you should have independence of observation, meaning there is no relationship between observation in each independent variable or between them. Fourth one, there should be no significant outliers in the four or more groups of your independent variables in terms of the dependent variables. And of course, your dependent variables should be approximately normally distributed for each group of the independent variables. Given that all assumptions is uh, passed, now let's have the one-way ANOVA. But first, let's have the hypothesis testing. Of course, the first step in the hypothesis testing is writing the hypothesis. So for our null hypothesis, there is no significant difference to the degree of interest in mathematics of WPSU ILS students when categorized according to socioeconomic status and year level. For the alternative, there is a significant difference to the degree of interest in mathematics of West Pacific State University ILS students when categorized according to socioeconomic status and year level. So for one-way ANOVA, so K is the number of groups and N is the total number of participants. So take note of that. So in solving for the degree of freedom, we have three degree of freedom, DF1, DF2, and DF with their respective formulas. So if we get DF1, we get 3 because 3 is the number of groups in socioeconomic status. So 3 minus 1 is 2. DF2 is 50 since we have 50 participants minus 3 groups. That's 47. And our overall DF is the total number of participants, which is 50 minus 1, which is 49. This is actually only for socioeconomic status. You may solve, you may pause the vi this video and solve for the year level. If you want. Actually, the year level has the value 3, 46, ah, and 49. 3, 46, and 49. That's it. Now, let's state the level of significance. Of course, the same with the t-test for independent sampling, we will use 0 0.05. And now, here is the result for the uh, 
ANOVA, but before that, I think we need to do the navigation of the SPSS. So the same thing, we don't need to transfer the data since we already transferred it in the first episode. All we need to do is run. So how to run it? You click Analyze. You click Compare Means. You click One Way ANOVA. And then your factor would be socioeconomic status. And then this one is, i sorry, your factor is socioeconomic status, sorry. And then degree of interest in mathematics is your dependent list. So of course you, you click post hoc and you click top key and you click continue. So you click okay. So as you can see, your significant is 0 0.001 which means that we need this post hoc later. Remember that, huh? if it is lesser than 0 0.05, we need the post hoc results here. So we already answered the social economic status. We didn't answer the uh, your level. So you minimize this first and then you, the same thing, you will compare means, means one, uh, one way ANOVA, sorry, compare means, that's one way ANOVA. You change this one to year level. Same thing. Click the post off into K. That's okay. Since this one is greater than 0 0.05, we don't need this multiple comparison from our post hoc. Always remember that we don't need that if it is not significant different. So I already have actually the results here. Sorry. This is our result. So of course, the degree of interest in mathematics uh, in terms of socioeconomic status is here. And then in terms of your level is here. So you get the F here, you get F value here, and you get the significant. So since P value is lesser than 0 0.05, then zero, it is significant. So that's for socioeconomic status. And of course, for year level, you also do, do the same. It's 49, 1.288, and 0.290, which is not significant. Okay, that's it. So let's dig in one by one. Let's have first the, the year level because it doesn't have significant difference. So there's a format how to do this. Our DF1, DF2 is equal to F value. Tama P is equal to significant two-tailed. So the degree of interest in mathematics among Web2 ILS was not significant, what was not statistically significant different when grouped according to year level, when F is equal to 247, is equal to 1.288, where P is 0 0.290. So that's it. That's very easy. If there is no significant different, there is it is not statistically significant different. I mean. But what if it is significant different, like the socioeconomic status? So the socioeconomic status, we have the degree of interest in mathematics among West Web Sioux ILS was statistically significant different when grouped according to socioeconomic status. So when F is 247, we have solved a while ago, equal to 7.558 where P is equal to 0 0.001. So the format is here, F, D1, F, DF. DF2 is equal to F value, comma P is equal to significant two tail. So that's the format for our uh, ANOVA. So since it is significant difference, you, you, as you can see here, we do a post hoc using to KAHD. So we have multiple comparisons, so we compare poor to middle class, poor to rich, middle class to poor, middle class to rich, rich to poor, rich to middle class. So we have six multiple comparisons. So as you can see, there are four comparisons here that has significant difference. Why did I say so? Because their value is, the sig value is lesser than 0 0.05. So two of them are 0 0.019 and two of them is 0 0.02, which means there is only two of them that are significant difference. There are two comparisons because the other two is just a replication of the other. 
So let's focus on poor versus middle class. So it has a significant difference between poor and middle class. The degree of uh, the degree of interest of ma in mathematics of poor from middle class uh, students are di differs. The same with rich and middle class with a value of 0 0.02. So as you can see, there are two comparisons that I have discussed a while ago, the poor versus middle class and the rich versus middle class, which has a significant difference. So you need to provide additional interpretation there, which states that there are significant difference. Of course, you need to insert the significant value, which is 0 0.19 and 0 0.02. So that's it. So for before we end the video, let's have the summary of steps. So step number one to three, state the hypothesis. So for the degree of freedom, state the level of significance, which is the, the same with the steps in uh, independent test. Step number four, encode the data and transfer to the SPSS. Of course, we have already done it in our video number one. The step number four to six, so we don't need to discuss it well. Step seven, click, uh, now you click analyze, compare means, of course, one way ANOVA. For step eight, move your socioeconomic status and your year level to the factor and degree of interest in the dependent variable. But take note, it really depends on your research problem, your own research problem. So your factor is always the independent variable and your degree of freedom is your dependent variable. For step number nine, you click continue and OK to generate the result. For step number 10, click an APA, uh, create an APA table based on the result. And of course, step 11, you interpret the result. And always remember, if, if there is a significant difference, do a post hoc, OK? Thank you, everyone, for listening. That's all. Goodbye and thank you. God bless everyone. But, but don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, Statistics Peaks. Bye-bye and thank you.